welcome to my first ever studio vlog. Hopefully it's good. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I feel completely, completely out of my depths. So we'll see how it turns out. I hope everybody enjoys. I was just gonna record an intro for the studio vlog, but I guess it's cuddle time instead, huh, friend? This is Eros, and he is either cuddly or crazy, depending on the hour. Right now he's being so sweet. take a look at a few of the things that I've designed for my opening. Um, so I'm thinking that this is going to be a postcard. So I've got the back. Oh, that's big. There we go. This is the back. I actually have moved this background into Photoshop and I've adjusted these lines because it's just not super simple to get these correct in Procreate. At least for me, I haven't figured it out yet. Also, I've redesigned my logo so many, so many times since 
I decided that I wanted to go ahead and start trying to open up my shop. And so this is going to be the front of the postcard. So it's all these cute seashells. The only thing I'm a little worried about with this one is maybe it'll be a little out of season by the time I open. I'm aiming to open my shop sometime mid to end September. So maybe a lot of people will be more in the fall, autumn mood then instead of, you know, bright, colorful seashells. But I just love this pattern so much. It turned out so cute. So hopefully people will like that. If not, maybe I could just do it as like a thank you card. This is another design that I have come up with. This little skeleton head is like my favorite. Okay, I'm probably going to say a lot of things are my favorite, but I love this so much. I've redrawn this so many times with different colors for the flower crown. But this is a cute little skull with a flower crown and little flower sticker sheet. So I've made the little white lines around them, but I will do that in Silhouette Studio so they look a little more consistent when I get done, like when I get it transferred over. And once I do that, I'll show you that product also. For this first launch, we might have a few different logos. Again, I've changed this and you'll see that when I get to some of the later stuff that I've designed. I did design these little, little panda bears, but um, I just cannot figure out the background for these. Like, I like this, this color, but these little flowers that are in here, these little flowers, oop, focus, focus, thank you. These little flowers, I hate it. Okay, I hate the layout and I can't figure it out and obviously it needs to have the logo. And so, oh, I think that's the new one. Do you see the new one? Looks different. Anyway, so this one is giving me trouble. I think what I might do with this one is redesign the background to be like a backing card and maybe these will end up just being a set of die cut stickers then I can make the little flower bigger and maybe less of them I'm not sure but I think they're so cute this is this one is one of my favorites and this little guy here is me every day, I swear. I'm so tired these days. So there's the little panda bears and my fruit. I don't know, I was laying in bed one day, just like relaxing and all of a sudden I was like, hmm, you know what, I wanna draw fruit. So that's where this came from. And it kind of has that like retro feel for some reason to me. But I still love it so much and I'm like, I'm still going to release this because it's so cute. Cute little fruits. And then this one, which is, I think, overall composition wise, probably my favorite sticker sheet of all of them. The little cat. I love him. He looks like my little guy. Here, let me see if I can show you my little cat. There he is. Oh, say hi, Dosi. All right, so now we're going to head to the post office. I have to drop off a document and I'm going to try and record the drive, but I'm not sure how long my phone will last because it's like 104 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 40, 41 degrees Celsius and it's so hot. So I know my iPhone eventually is going to be like, N -n -n no, it's too hot. So I hope you enjoy the drive and I'll see you when we get back.
So after drawing my mushroom village on my iPad, I decided that I wanted to turn one of the houses into a little die cut sticker. And so I went ahead and drew that up and put it in Silhouette Studio. And this is just a clip of me cutting it for the first time on my Silhouette Studio. This sticker actually took a very long time to get correct because my printer just really wanted to print very heavy on the magenta side and so finally I got colors that I was happy with but this sticker I'm still not quite sure about I think because of all of the frustrations with printing my brain is just not quite sure if it likes it or not so we'll have to come back and look at that another day all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward the rest of the footage of me cutting on the silhouette machine that way we don't have to sit here forever and watch it listening back to this section, I thought it kind of sounded like an ASMR video, so I decided to leave the music off and just let you listen to the sound of me peeling stickers off of my mat. So in this clip, I'm just taking a rag and cleaning off the stickers. Vinyl stickers for some reason leave a dust that gets stuck everywhere. Um, it doesn't matter if my blade is sharp or if it's dull, it's always dusty. So I just take a rag and clean all the dust off as much as possible so they don't get on the stickers when I send them out. So I think that this is going to be the end of my first ever studio vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm still learning what I'm doing and what to record and trying to remember when to record. It's all very new. Hopefully with more time, I'll get better at it. And next time it'll be an even better studio vlog. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to leave you here with this last few seconds of me cleaning off my vinyl stickers and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.